Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I am showing you what's inside this create a long subscription box. It's the August box. I know it's October but when I subscribed in August I didn't expect it to take more than a month to ship. The box was shipped from America on the 20th of August and it finally arrived at my place in Cardiff on the 25th of September. I was charged an additional £9.67 in customs charge of which £8 was a handling fee for the Royal Mail. I'm not joking. The box itself cost $37 plus international shipping of $19. Converted into pounds, the box cost £44.20 and adding the customs charge, this box cost me a whopping £53.87. Create Along is an American website dedicated to all things polymer clay. They have a membership site, they sell all sorts of tools and supplies, a magazine and subscription boxes. I was curious to see what you get in such a box. Each box has its own theme and the August box theme was beach. And with this out of the way, let's check what's inside. Okay, what have we got here? We have first a note which tells you what's inside the box uh, and the box is called the Beachy Keen and uh, so we have oh that's nice that's sea urchin and it's completely intact, which is great. I think this is very good for textures. I have tried texture sheets in the past with uh, sea urchins, making my own. Then we have... Hmm, this is somehow stuck together. Let's have a look. What could that be? Mm, abstract waves texture sheet stamp. I think it is. Uh, let's have a look. Not quite sure how to use it. Let's have a look. Not easy to get out. There you go. I don't know, are you supposed to put that out? And I broke it already. Ha! Ah, great. Okay, I broke this already. Um, never mind. Uh, as you can see, these are. Um, some little um, sea stars. Oh, these are nice. These are stamps you can use. And texture stamps. So we've got a turtle, hope you can see that. Um, all sorts of beach themed decorations. And a fish. There you go. What else is in there? It's a cord. It says here multicolor jewelry cord. And then we've got stencil. Ah, hang on. 
abstract waves texture sheet stamp, that's it. Trying to figure out what is what here. Ah, what's this? This is a stencil. Then we also have... Oh, this is really nice. It's a beach themed with lots of sandals. Um, silk screen. Anything else I missed? Got some shells. I'm not sure how well they actually survived um, the transport. I have loads of shells, shells myself, so I can always substitute them here. Yeah, they're quite broken, some of them. And what's this? Ah, oh yeah, look at this. This is mica. Uh, pigment shimmer sand mica, some sort of sand color. Okay, I'm not getting this out at the moment because it's quite messy. And that's it. So, just to show you again. So that's the mica powder, the shells. We've got a um, silk screen. And we have this stencil and this uh, waved texture sheet stamp, the cord, and we've got these. Sea urchin, it says sea urchin and box to decorate. I'm not sure if, if I was meant to decorate the box or just use the, the urchin for something. Um, and we've got these uh, these pretty um, stamps. And uh, yeah, this which I've broken already. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do with this. I will have to um, find out for you. Um, yeah, it says Life's Beach Texture Tips Set. Oh no, these these are the ones. But these are the texture tips, I guess. Yeah, and I don't know what this is, so um, no idea. Maybe you can put these in there. <laughs> I don't know. I will have a play with it and I will show you later what I have produced. I might not use all of the things, but some of them and see what I can create. Okay. I have repaired the surfboard with super glue and the stand still doesn't fit. So this is an item that will come in handy as a stencil to cut out the shape. I have tried to use most of the things that came in the box. I used the silk screen, the wave texture sheet and the sandy mica powder for this little cover. It can be glued onto a notebook or photo album with holiday photos. I was quite impressed with this silk screen. It's very crisp and it is easy to clean. I was also able to get the texture sheet through the pasta machine. I love this texture, it's definitely something I would use more often. The sheet has a sticky back which means you can attach it easily to an acrylic block like so and then press it into the clay.
For these earrings and this pendant, I used the starfish charms, the wave texture sheet, the mica powder and the stencil. I'm not sure I will be using the stencil much. Cutting out the shell was quite tricky, especially the smaller size. The final two things I made were these pendants. I tried to use up most of the six stamps for this. It takes a bit of practice to stamp with them into the clay and getting the pressure right. Too much pressure and it goes through the clay, not enough and it's too faint. Though you can use a fine ball stylus to make the lines more visible. I used Primo Pearl and Mica powders for these pendants. The stamp tips are really cute and well made and I can see myself using these on precious metal clay. Unfortunately I totally messed up this one and the bale is too narrow to add a chain. I will probably make this one again but will be more careful. It does show off the stems though. All items have been varnished to prevent the paint and the mica powders from rubbing off. These are the things I couldn't find an immediate use for. The cord, the shells and the box. I might use the sea urchin for texturing. The total value of the box, as stated on the inside, comes to $50. This box is well put together and I found the quality of the tools very good. Though I wouldn't have chosen the sandal silk screen or the stencil as I can't see myself using both very often for making jewelry. However, given the quality of these items, I can see myself buying items from their website in the future. My only issue is really that postage is hefty for those of us who don't live in America. While the shipping of the subscription box costs $19, you pay about $37 to ship to the UK if you buy other items from the shop. So to really make this worthwhile, you have to put in a big order. Or you could split the shipping costs with your claying friend and order as a group. My September box arrived two weeks later after this box, so I will show you that box in one of my next videos too. I have however cancelled the subscription as it's just not financially sustainable for me. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, until next time.